Charles Mosley is an expert on aristocratic family lineages. Good morning. Hello. I'm sorry to kept you waiting. Not at all, not all. But I hope you're going to be able to help with uh, some of my family history. Um, I can show you uh, a little bit. Here's me. Yep. I've got back as far on my mother's side mm -hmm. as General Sir George Anson. Yes. Although he wasn't of the standing of Wellington himself, he was a pretty distinguished general in the one campaign which really destroyed the Napoleonic Empire. So that is a considerable feather in your ancestral cap, as it were. General Sir George Anson led the cavalry to victory in three fierce battles during Wellington's Peninsula Campaign of 1809. British victories against Napoleon's armies in Spain and Portugal brought great accolades to Anson. Now, we go backwards. We've got General Sir George here. Sir George's mother was the daughter of the first Baron Vernon. The Vernons are an immensely ancient family who go back to Norman times. Here we are, there's the first Lord Vernon there. But for our purposes in English history, the interest lies in the first Lord's wife, who was Mary and from whom you descend, and she was the daughter of Lord Howard of Effingham. So let's just go back again. So um, can I just have another yes. look at Anson's? Here's Anson under Lichfield. It is Sir George's mother that we're interested in, who is Mary, daughter of the first Lord Vernon. And Mary's mother was Mary, daughter of Lord Howard of Effingham. Daughter of Effingham. Lord Howard of Effingham. So we go to an earlier volume of the books. OK. Here's Effingham in Surrey. Howard of Effingham, Howard of Effingham, Charles Howard, Sir Francis Howard. And the first Lord Howard of Effingham's name originally was Lord William Howard. And the Howards, after all, are one of the most distinguished families in British history. <laughs> By terms of their ancestry, uh, their staunch Catholicism, and this Lord William was the uncle of Henry VIII's second-to-last wife, Queen Catherine Howard. Now then. I'm taking you back to the 1540s. Divorced, beheaded, well died. Done. Jolly Divorced, good. beheaded, yes, survived. Yes, yes, beheaded. General Sir George Anson's grandmother was Mary Howard. Six generations back along the Howard line is Matthew's direct ancestor, Lord William Howard. Lord William's niece was Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of Henry VIII. Famously beheaded in the Tower of London in 1542, Lord William himself suffered by association. Lord William was arrested on charge of concealing his knowledge of treason. He will have done time in the Tower of London. In the Tower. So there you are. You can't get much more you central get... to English history than Lord William Howard. 